Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at big mass or what order you need to do things in because it is important. And these sort of questions that will come up early in a non-calculated mass paper just to try and see if you're paying attention. If you want loads loads more examples of questions like this, then you can go and get them all over on my website. These are the questions we are going to start with. Now, if you just did these from left to right, 7 plus 6 will give us 13, and then 13 times 5 will give us 65. But if you tap that exact sum into your calculator, you would not get 65. Because 7 plus 6 is not the bit that we need to do first. The bit that we need to do first is 6 times 5. Or 7 plus 6, 5 times. The answer we get for this is 37. 6 times 5 is the bit we need to do first because it's a multiplication and that needs to become before an addition. So 6 times 5 is 30. So our actual sum is 7 plus 30, giving us 37. The reason is bid mass. The first B, well the B, is for brackets. Then we have indices or index. D is division and M is multiplication. And the A and the S is addition and subtraction. This is the order that things that sums have to be done in. So we've done our first sum as the example. Now for the next one, we need to think about our bid mass. Here we have brackets, addition and division. And we can't just go from left to right, plugging the numbers into the calculator. The first thing we have to do is the brackets. So first we need to do 24 plus 8, which gives us 32. Then, after we've done the addition, we can divide it by 4. So our sum is 32 divided by 4, which gives us 8. Next we have 40 minus 6 divided by 2. We need to look at our bid mass. We see we have a subtraction and a division. The division is the bit that needs to be done first. So 6 divided by 2 will give us 3. Then we have 40 minus 3 giving us 37. The next one we have 8 minus 3 in brackets multiplied by 5. Looking at our bib mass we have brackets, subtraction and multiplication and the bracket is the bit we need to do first. So the first thing we need to do here is 8 minus 3 which is 5 times by 5 gives us 25. For our last one we have addition and division and using the bib mass we can see that we have to do the division first. So the first thing we do is 56 divided by 7. That is going to give us 8. So we have 7 plus 8, which is going to give us 15. Moving on to some slightly harder examples here. You can see there are four numbers and a range of different steps involved. But we still have to follow bib mass as we are working our way through these questions. You just have to identify which bit to start with first. With our first sum, it is the two sets of divisions that need to be done first. So 16 divided by 2 gives us 8. And then 27 divided by 9 gives us 3. Then our sum simplifies itself to 8 plus 3, which gives us 11. For our next sum, the next thing, first thing we need to do is 35 divided by 5, giving us 7. The sum then becomes 7, 4 plus 7 minus 15. 
Looking at bib mass, the next bit can all be done together, giving us an answer of minus 4. Our next question has some multiplication in. The multiplication becomes a 4, the subtraction in bib mass, so that is the bit that needs to be done first. We have to do 7 times 3 and 6 times 3 before we do any subtraction. So what we get is 21 minus 18, giving us 3. In our next question, we have 7 plus 8 times 8 minus 3. Looking at bib mass, the multiplication, the 8 times 8, is the bit that needs to be done first. 8 times 8 gives us 64. This will turn the sum into 7 plus 64 minus 3. This will give us an answer of 68. Our last one for the medium level here. Harder questions coming up next. 4 plus 12 divided by 4 plus 11. The first thing that needs to be done is the division in the middle. So 12 divided by 4 will give us 3. The sum then becomes 4 plus 3 plus 11, giving us 18. The last six here for you to try. Slightly harder because these include indices. So 20 divided by 5 minus 4 squared. The first bit we need to do looking at bib mass is the indices. 4 squared will give us 16. We now have 20 divided by 5 minus 16. But there is another bit we need to do before we can just answer this. Because the division is more important than the subtraction. So the next thing we need to do is 20 divided by 5. That gives us 4. Then our sum becomes 4 minus 16, which gives us minus 12. Our next sum involves brackets, indices, addition and multiplication. And the brackets are the first thing we need to do. The first thing we need to do is 7 plus 9. Now it may seem like, well you are doing an addition here, but because it's inside the brackets it needs to come first. So our sum now becomes 3 times 16 squared. There is another step to this. After the brackets come the indices. So the next thing we need to do is 16 squared. If this is on a non-calculated paper, then you're going to be expected to do the long multiplication. Uh, if you struggle with long multiplication, you can go and check out my separate video on that. Giving us 250. 6. 3 times 256 gives us 768. Here we have the square root of 4 times 16 minus 7. Now the first thing we need to do, brackets, indices, is the bracket in the middle there. So the first thing we need to do is 4 times 16. And again, if this is on a non calculo paper, you're going to need to do this long multiplication. This is going to simplify it to the square root of 64 minus 7. Indices comes next, and indices do include square roots. So we're going to need to do the square root of 64. And it is going to make your life much, much easier if you know all of your square numbers and all of your cube numbers. So you can easily identify that the square root of 64 is 8, giving us a final sum of 8 minus 7 and 1 as the answer. Here we have 6 times 2 minus 2 squared. The indices, the index, is the thing to do first. So the first thing we need to do is work out 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. This is then going to simplify to 6 times 2 minus 4. The next thing we need to do is the multiplication. So 6 times 2. This gives us 12 minus 4 and an overall answer of 8. Last one here, and these ones really have been quite tricky. Properly testing if you can work out your bid mass. So this is the square root of 3 times 12 plus 9. 3 times 12 is in a bracket. So that is the thing that we have to do first. 
giving us the square root of 36 plus 9. Square root of 36 is 6 plus 9, giving us 50. Ouch. Mm, love you too, Prim.